Hello viewers, you're welcome to Better Faith e-learning platform. My name is Mrs. Eunice Egwasa and today I'm going to be teaching you English language for basic five and primary five classes. Please settle down to learn. Today we are going to look at something very interesting which is part of your essay writing and it has to do with autobiography. Being in basic five, it is expected that you should be able to express yourself in writing. You should be able to express yourself through speaking. So if by this time you're not good, this is the time for you to practice more on essays. Very important. So this particular topic is part of essay writing. And the topic is autobiography. Auto biography. We have autobiography. I'm sure you've heard of that, or you've heard of this one. I'm sure you've heard of biography. So these two words they are somehow related. One is autobiography, the other is just biography. So for this class, we are going to look at autobiography, and some other time we shall be looking at uh, biography on its own. So the word autobiography. Autobiography. The word up to means something you have to put in your effort for your own self. Auto. Autobiography. Biography is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is an account of yourself or a description of yourself. Details about yourself or another person. But when it has to do with auto, Auto is an account of one's own life. Auto is you are doing it yourself. So biography is a description of yourself. But auto being attached to it means it is an account of one's own life. Your life history. Autobiography is an account of one's own life history. Everybody has history. Everybody has story. Everybody has a beginning. Everybody has a past. Information that has to do with you. And writing it yourself is autobiography. Do you understand? It could be very long. Sometimes autobiography could be very long. As in a book form. A whole book. Autobiography may be a very long one, which is in form of a book, a whole book. And it could also be very short, in the form of just a passage. So it comes in two forms or two ways, either a very long form or a very short form. If it comes in a very long form, then it is in the form of a whole book, which contains pages but if it comes in a very short form then it is a passage which may be one or two pages do you understand and again it is usually focused on oneself description as well as other things about yourself it describes you do not forget we have descriptive essay so, an autobiography is a type of descriptive essay in which you write or the writer writes to explain things that has to do with his or her own self. It is an account of your own life history. Something you are writing on your own about yourself, not about another person. Your own life history. Do you understand? Good. It is usually focused on one's self-description as well as an autobiography contains certain holdings or certain important facts. Number one, we have one's habits, your habits. When we talk of habits, it has to do with what you like to do, what you are fond of doing, something you enjoy doing. So when you are writing an autobiography, when you are writing an account about yourself, you must include what you like to do best. 
Number two, one's taste. One's taste. Your taste has to do with your choice. Your choice of selection, things you pick, things you go for, things you desire, things you, you, you are known for. So that is your taste, your choice of selection. Then we have manners. Your autobiography must contain your manners. Your manner is your upbringing, the way you do things. It has to do with your social life. It has to be a part of your autobiography because these are some of the things that describe a person. And again, it has to also contain your marital and moral qualities. When we talk of one's marital qualities, it means your marital status. That means whether you're married or you're single. Do you understand? So marital has to do with your marriage status, whether you are married or you are single. And your moral qualities has to do with things that you know you stand for, things that are good, things that you know will promote the life of other persons and things that are ethical, that's things that are generally accepted in the community as being good. Good things, good standards, principles. So all of these must be part of an autobiography for it to be complete. Do not forget, an autobiography is an account of one's own life history. It could be very long, like I said earlier. When it is long, it is in the form of a whole book, which comes in different pages. But if it is in a short form, it known as a passage which is either just one page or two as the case may be all right for your autobiography to be complete please take note you must focus on description that has to do with your habits your taste your manners your marital status and your moral qualities so all of these are the vital parts of an autobiography example i have an example on the board for you which i'm going to read for you to listen to and it says who am i in life who am i in life that is a rhetorical question it's a question you are asking you are asking yourself you are asking yourself it's like I don't understand who am I? Let me describe myself. I, I really need to describe myself. I need, I need to put it in writing for people to understand who I really am. All right, so I'm going to read who am I in life to you. But you can also write your own. But this one is just an example. Please listen attentively. When writing, you don't need to beat around the bush. Just be uh, precise. Go straight to the point and don't use uh, uh, words that are too big for people to understand. Make your words very simple. Listen, my name is Michael Osunde. I started school when I was six years old. I went to kindergarten through fifth grade at Bethel Faith Montessori School. And while I was there, I won an award for perfect attendance. I also won an award for honor roll all three terms in a class. However, I then attended St. Paul's boarding school and there I also won a couple of awards. One for perfect attendance and two for being named student of the year in my junior secondary school days. And now I am a senior at St. Paul's boarding school. I plan on finishing school and maybe going to a federal university. And my favorite university in Nigeria is the University of Benin. In life, I would love to be a doctor, saving lives and helping others, 
get better as well as so to achieve my dreams I study hard and make researches on my own so as to become a relevant personnel in the society affecting lives and the world positively do you understand this is just a brief autograph about who I am the person Michael Osunde succeeded in describing his own self by in, in his own writing so that is an example of autobiography good please for your own practice exercise I want you to do something for me with the help of the guide given to you on autobiography you have to write an autobiography of yourself you have to write an account of your own life history pay attention to the following number one your habits things that you are fond of doing your taste your uh, choice of selection your manners your, that's your behavior your morals the things you stand for the, the good things that you stand for your principles in life so please write your own autobiography and pay attention to these headings I have just enumerated for you. And note, in your essays, remember, you are always giving uh, limits. That is, the number of words that is expected of you, number of words that you are supposed to write. So note, in this particular exercise, your words should not be less than one to, five, one to five words. That your words should not be less than 125. Meaning, your words should be one, at, it should not be less than at least 125 and above. Do you understand? Not less than. Not greater than that. This is not less than. So your words should not be uh, less than 125 words. Please practice this exercise, count your words, and be sure you are on the right path. Please do not forget, read your Ugosi Ugo. Practice all the exercises in your Ugosi Ugo. And practice, read assiduously for your examinations. And be good children. Please stay out of trouble. Thank you very much and bye for now.